Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. We are continuing strong with discovering and exploring different models and with explaining how to install and run them on local computers. In that spirit, in this video we are going to cover one of the recent NVIDIA models. The name of this model is LAMA 3.1 Nemotron Nano 8B V1. Besides this model, NVIDIA published at the same time a larger model. And here is the larger model. It's LAMA 3.3 Nemotron Super 49B V1. Now, the issue with this model is that it's too large. And until a quantized version of this model appears, I'm not going to cover this larger model. The simple reason is that this model cannot be executed on NVIDIA 4090, NVIDIA 3090 or even on NVIDIA 5090. You can see that the model has 49 billion parameters. Maybe a quantized version can be executed or maybe even this version can be executed. I will have to test it. However, my feeling and my intuition is that this model cannot fit on a gpu that has let's say 24 gigabyte of vram or 32 gigabyte of vram and consequently we will start with this model. before we start with the explanation of the installation procedure let's briefly go over the main facts related to this model first of all we can see that this is the bf16 precision of the model then let's learn how this model is being developed and trained okay over here we can see that this is actually a derivative of meta llama 3.18 being struck now currently it's over the march 2025 and i think meta llama 3.1 was published maybe mid last year and consequently taking into account recent machine learning developments meta llama 3.1 might be a little bit obsolete and I believe that the idea of this model is to take Meta Llama 3.1 8B and to improve it. And we can see that the new model, Nemotron Nano 8B, is a reasoning model that is post-trained for reasoning human chat preferences and tasks such as RAG and tool calling. And this is very, very important. So, we expect that this new model will be much better than Meta Llama 3.1 for RAG and tool calling applications. And consequently, you can easily substitute Meta Llama 3.1, which is a state of the art, with this new model. And you might improve your RAG and tool calling results. Another important thing to keep in mind is this thing. The model fits on a single RTX GPU and can be used locally. And the model supports a context length of 128K. And this is very important. In my case, I'm using NVIDIA 3090 GPU with 24GB of VRAM. And consequently, this model will nicely fit on my GPU and can be executed. I'm not sure about other GPU because some other GPUs that have less gigabyte of VRAM memory can also run these type of models if you do offloading or if you do some other tricks. Okay, so let's start with installation. Now, unfortunately, they still didn't publish on the Olama website the model. Consequently, we have to go through the Hugging Face website and to install PyTorch manually and to install transformers and over here you can see a simple script that's used to download and run this model now to run this script we need to do several things first of all we need to properly install pytorch secondly we need to install several libraries and finally we can run this script however everything needs to be done in a python virtual environment so let's start with the first step now open a command prompt by clicking here and searching for command prompt and inside of this command prompt go to the base c drive and over here you need to create a python virtual environment to do that first of all you need to create a workspace folder let's call this folder test nano let's navigate to this folder 
And inside of this folder, let's create a Python virtual environment. However, before you do that, you need to have a proper Python version on your system. So what is the issue over here? If I type Python double dash version, you can see that my Python version is 3.12. If, for example, you have Python 3.13, since you are on a Windows system, as I am, you might have issues installing PyTorch and PyTorch will not work properly. Apparently, since March 2025, that is up to now, PyTorch CUDA version can only be installed on Python 3.12 on Windows systems. Now, if you have some other Python version, such as Python 3.13, you need to downgrade to either Python 3.12, Python 3.11, or a similar version. So how to do that? Well, you need to just Google, search Python, download, go to the official Python website, and then over here, don't click immediately on this button, go down, and you will find over here the Python version. My suggestion is to go with this Python version. PyTorch with the CUDA support work, works perfectly. Okay, so keep in mind that this will save you a lot of time and it will spare you from head hurt or losing maybe like one whole day trying to figure out what are the issues. Okay, so let's create a Python virtual environment. We do it simply like this. Be patient. Let's wait for a while and let's activate the Python virtual environment by executing this command. Okay, the next step is to install PyTorch. So how to properly install PyTorch with the CUDA support? First of all, type this, nvcc double dash version. And you should see something like this. You should see NVIDIA CUDA compilers and their versions. If you don't have NVIDIA CUDA compilers, then uh, go back to Google and search NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, for example, 12.4. My suggestion is to go with this version, click here, click on Windows, click here, click on your Windows version, for example, 11, click here, click to download this file and install NVIDIA CUDA compilers. Okay. So once you install NVIDIA CUDA compilers, you can proceed further with the installation of PyTorch. And to verify again that NVIDIA CUDA compilers are installed, simply type this and you should see this response. Okay, so let's learn how to install PyTorch. To install PyTorch, simply Google PyTorch install locally. Then go to the official PyTorch website then over here, you will see this selection table. Click on stable, click on windows, click on pip. Make sure that this CUDA version completely matches and accurately matches the CUDA version returned by this thing and go with this CUDA version. Simply copy this, then go back to the terminal, paste this thing and press enter. And this should install PyTorch, Torch Vision and Torch Audio. It might take a while to install PyTorch since here you're downloading around, I think, 3 gigabyte of data files. Next, let's install Hugging Face underscore Hub library. And after that, we need to install Transformers. These are the standard libraries for running these type of models. You can see over here that we are also installing safe tensors, which is also a very important library. Otherwise, we will not be able to run the models. Okay, so how I figured out the models I need to install and the libraries, to be more precise, the libraries. Well, if you go to this code, you can see import torch, which means that we need PyTorch. And over here, you can see import transformers. However, there might be some hidden libraries over here. And we might also have to figure out that if we get some error or maybe some missing dependencies, consequently, we will have to figure out this by ourselves. We will see. Okay, so let's see where we are, where we stand. Good. So we installed Transformers, Hugging Face Hub, and we installed 
torch and this should be it okay the next step is to start the visual studio code type this on my youtube channel you have a video tutorial on how to install visual studio code click on file click on new file let's call this file test.py click here create a file let's go back here and copy this test code go here paste okay now a lot of people who are not familiar with the Hugging Face Hub and, and with similar repositories might wonder where did we actually download the model. Well, what will happen over here, the first time we run the model, the model will first be downloaded. And the next time you run this code, basically you will not have to download because the model will be cached and you will be able to use it. So that's the general idea. Okay, so to run this file, you need to press Control shift p search for Python, select Interpreter, click here, and make sure that you select the Interpreter inside of your Python virtual environment. That is, click here. And then you simply need to click here, and everything should work. So let's see. If you see some error, some missing model dependencies, we will have to fix it, and this, will, this shouldn't be a big problem deal okay so let's see what's happening and immediately the first error appears okay so we need to install accelerate so let's do that not a big deal go back here and type pip install accelerate and let's see what will happen okay now we have accelerate and hopefully this this should be it however again there might be some other things that we need to install. So let's again run Control shift p Python select interpreter, click here, run again, and then let's see what happens. Okay, good. This is very good. Now what's happening, we are actually downloading the model from the remote GitHub repository. That is, if you go here, and if you go at the top of the page, you will see under files, the model, we are currently downloading these big two files. They are big, they are huge actually. However, let's see what will happen and how long will it take. Sometimes it's actually a better idea to use another tool and to manually download everything. I did this in several of my video tutorials and you can watch them. Now the second file is being downloaded, as you can see over here. Okay, let's see how many files do we need. Actually, these are two big files. And then we also have this third big files. No, we have actually four big files. Okay, so let's be patient. This might take a while. But again, look, one very interesting thing about these models. They're claiming it's 8 billion parameter. However, if you look over here, we are actually downloading around, let's see, around 16 gigabytes. Wow, this is really, really big. And we have reached the last file, only one gigabyte. And let's see now what happens. Okay, let's hope that everything works well. Loading checkpoints. Right now we are filling our GPU, as you can see over here. The GPU is being filled. Okay. We are using our GPU, excellent. As you can see over here, the model is working. It's being computed, awesome. Let's see, and let's see how long will it take to execute this model. And you can see over here at the end, the question we are asking, we are actually solving here, basically this transcendental equation, which might be a little bit of trickier, type of a trickier math problem, since transcendental equations do not have a closed form solution and they, the model has to use some form of iterative solver or maybe like to use the bisection method or something similar. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Works like a charm. And here you can see what's happening. Actually, this is not exactly a transcendental equation since you can factor out things so it's not not so bad okay but still you can see the complete procedure and it works as it should now let's go back to the hugging face repository and let's look into another model or better not another model another example so here you can see 
when you turn off reasoning off the procedure is the same and this will probably produce faster response and you can test it by yourself okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial